Hi foodies, welcome to Mellow Bites. After we had a good time at the shores of the beautiful Alikal Beach in Kerala, we went to Sans Bay restaurant for our lunch. This small hut-like seafood hub is being located on the lap of the Arabian Sea. It also had an outer dining space next to the hut but we preferred to have our lunch inside the hut and had to wait for nearly 20 minutes to get our places. Once we got our space to have our lunch, we found very tough to read the menu as it was written in Malayalam. The owner of the restaurant was very friendly and he shared all the menu available over there. They had all seafood varieties, chicken and beef too, but the time we visited was around 1 o'clock and the biryani was completely done by that time. We decided to try every seafood variety there. They had fresh fish caught and they gave an option for us to pick the fish we needed to relish. We chose Punara fish. We also got to sneak into the restaurant kitchen. Let's take a look. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. After we gave our order, we had to wait really a long time. It took almost 40 minutes for our food to arrive, but the breezy air, the scenic view and a nice walk on the shore area didn't even let us realize that it is taking us too long for our food to come. We got chatti choru which had a clay pot with rice topped with a bowl of fish curry, beef fry, prawn fry, chicken fry, three veggies as sides, squid fry and egg fry along with the puppet. We started digging in every single dish from the chatti choru. The chicken fry and beef fry was so yummy and even the squid and prawns were unbeatably delicious. It was really fun and flavorful to dig on all the dishes in the chatti choru and this is unbeatably delicious and you could just go for chatti choru when you visit over. There. The punara fish that we ordered came so colorful and drooling and this roast looks so appetizing. We just couldn't wait to try out that. This punara fish was really a good fish. It was very nice and flavorful but we felt somewhere the flavors of the masala didn't get deeply into the fish but yeah it is absolutely good. The masala flavors got in deep into the fish. It would be very very awesome. The next dishes we tried out was squid masala. This squid masala was in a semi gravy consistency. It was nice bright red. It had onions and tomatoes into it and we also ordered prawn roast. This prawn roast was nicely topped up with curry leaves and it was looking appetizing and also we ordered crab masala. This crab was medium sized. It had nice flesh into it and we just wanted to try all three one by one. Though the squid was looking so bright red, I thought it would be very spicy but it was not spicy but it was full of flavors and it was tasting very well with chapatis as well. Prawn roast was absolutely delicious. It had nice aroma of coconut oil and curry leaves coated on it. It indeed takes just a minute to finish off this prawn roast plate because it was so flavorful and you can just finish it off in just a minute. Bargav is all time crap lover and so he wanted to try the crab masala. He found it difficult to crack on the crab. They didn't provide any cracker for uh, breaking the crab. It was very hard to break it. So we requested to have a shell cracker. So they provided us with the shell cracker and they also helped us cracking the crab. The crab meat inside was so thick. It had lots of crab meat inside the shell and this meat was so so flavorful so juicy with all the masala flavors into it this is unbeatably delicious i even tried having the masala of the crab mixed with the rice and this masala is really a very flavorful one even just when it is mixed with rice without any meat the chapatis were so soft and it was really amazing to have the chapatis with these flavorful gravies 
every single dish that we ordered from this restaurant is tasting so delicious right from prawns squid scraps and the chatty choru we we had a awesome lunch finally to end off we thought of having a soda so we ordered a lemon soda and we drenched our thirst if you are a seafood lover and would love to enjoy the scenic views out there definitely visit this restaurant it is really good ambience good service only the wait time is going to be more and but it's really worth spending that much time to wait to relish these tasty food if you ask us will you visit this restaurant again yeah definitely we would love to visit this again to relish all these seafood varieties thank you for watching meet you next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel bye